taking off. Oh, lost it. Lost it? Yep. Okay, so pretty bad crash, nose is done in, um, but the electronics look all intact, this is the speed controller, the uh, this heat sink came off it, I'll have to put that back in place, battery came out but that's to be expected, the nose took the blow, everything else seems to be intact, servos, motor, I'll need to do a bit of testing but I think it's all pretty much okay. Well interesting flight. I actually only lost control when I put the ailerons on. When I was flying elevons only it was flying just fine. I think with the ailerons on it was just a bit too twitchy and it was quite far away when I did it and as a, loss, as a result I lost control but uh, it's okay. I think I can rebuild that fairly easy. The SU-37 now <clears throat> Now this one, this one, I, this one has suffered extensive damage. You can see the nose really took a hit. Now that's that's a really strong nose, and you can see it's completely bent. Um, what happened with this one was I was flying at elevons only, and it was doing okay, but I decided to then try um, the ailerons as well. So. I, 
hit the switch on the transmitter and switched on the ailerons and then it, at that point it became really really touchy on the roll which really should have been you know expected with a plane like this the problem is <laughs> that uh, I was so far away when I hit that that it immediately rolled over on its back and started flying downwards and because it was so far away I couldn't see the orientation and uh, I just couldn't recover it. It went straight down into the bush. But having said that, the damage that looks awful is not that bad. I mean, that nose, I'm fairly certain I can fix that pretty easily. Uh, just some decisive cuts uh, in certain places and replacement uh, nose cone and maybe a replacement canopy maybe able to just fix that canopy may not need to replace it i'll need to check the electronics though um two of the esc wires did come free the uh, heat sink that's on top of the trust 55 amp uh, esc did come off um, but that's because i'd cut this um, heat shrink away but i did manage to find the heat sink so i'll be putting that back in place Receiver looks intact, the motor looks intact, it's still turning. Um, obviously I'll need to get this thing fixed up and retest all the electronics to make sure everything's okay, but I don't think the electronics suffered much damage. The battery came loose, came flying out obviously with all the, with the severity of the impact. BEC, once again it doesn't look like it's damaged. It did get forced forward, but we'll see what happens. We'll try it out. So yeah. There's a, this one will take a little while longer to repair.